Ellie. Hi, Ellie. And Shez's his daughter, who watches my videos. So, hi, Ellie. Thought I'd, I thought I'd say a quick hello. Also, hello to Shez. Um, I need another one of these, not enough. Um, the eyes of blue.
Brilliant, really. Really, really, really nice. And Lilt. I love Lilt. So they're probably my top four. Hopefully that was four. But thank you for the question. My ASMR addiction asks, is there a fast food restaurant that you don't have in England that you would love to try? Yes, there is. That's a brilliant question. I would love to try Popeye's Popeye's chicken because we only have KFC here and I know um, America and I think um, Canada I'm not sure but they, I know America for sure has uh, Popeye's 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 chicken I'd love to try that because nearly all the American people that I know all say Popeyes is better. So yeah, definitely, definitely Popeyes. If Popeyes opened here today, I'd be straight down there. So thank you for that. Check out her channel as well, guys. My ASMR addiction. Nicole. Really, really good ASMR. Someone's called me the other day, which I thought was better than ASMR. Right. Samara, Samara, Ella Marie, Ella Marie, Ella Marie, Ella Marie asks, "What's your idea of the perfect wedding?" Um, I'd love to get married on the beach, a really beautiful beach with a deep blue sea, somewhere nice. And then after the wedding, have like the reception, like a big massive beach party after. With all lights and like dancing. You know, so it goes on through the night. Like that, I'd love that. It's a nice beach wedding. And then a big party on the beach. Noah asks, how am I doing? 
living with all the like COVID-19. Um, it's actually pretty cool here now to be honest now it's like the coffee shops have opened up so we can go and have a coffee now. Um, KFC's open, McDonald's is open um, as well as like our supermarkets so we're doing pretty good it's not that bad now. Um, slowly I just hope it does stay that way but thank you for the question Michael Collins asks do I play any other instruments other than the guitar um, I can play drums a little bit I'm not brilliant um, but I used to play them for my brother-in-law at the time he was in a band and he used to rehearse and I'd rehearse with him and play the drums for him so I also play keyboards as well um, yeah so keyboards a little bit of drums I'm not Neil Peer but you know I can get a rhythm Just Joni asks how's life right now uh, it's pretty good um I'm doing this, which is something I really enjoy doing. Um, I've got my own place now, um, where the toilet and shower doesn't make that horrible grinding noise. I've got my own cooker, my own fridge, uh, a sofa. I've got pretty much everything I need. The shops are open now. So yeah, it's all pretty good. Thank you for the question. Oh. Hello Kick says, when will your game come out? It sounds amazing. I would love to see. We was actually talking about it yesterday. Me and my fiance drove us last on. We was watching a movie called Blue Velvet. Blue Velvet. there's a guy hiding in the closet and this other guy's got this face mask and he's breathing all the like the, whatever he's breathing in, in and it was reminding us of you know kill kill the clown from my game so i'd love to get it done i'd love to get it made um it's something i'll probably do in the future i'd like to get this channel up and running properly um and then hopefully take it from there when I'll, I'll, I'll sort of have more power to do so. But yeah, I really can't wait to play it, hopefully. We will get to play it one day, guys. But thank you for the question. Harry Dames asks if I could spend one day with someone, anyone, who would it be? If it's dead or alive, then Bruce Lee. I love Bruce Lee and I'd love to spend a day with him and just talk. I'd have so many things to ask him. Um, unfortunately, uh, he wasn't around when I first saw him. When I became a fan, you know, he'd already unfortunately left this world. But yeah, definitely Bruce Lee. If I could meet anyone, it'd be him. So thanks for the question. Drew asks, did I ever play in a band? No, I didn't. Um, I never played because what happened is I got agoraphobia when I was about 15, so I didn't have a chance to even go out, let alone be in a band. But as I said earlier, I did used to sort of play drums um, for my brother-in-law. And that's about the closest, but I've never actually performed in a band anywhere, but as I said, you know, I just couldn't go out or do anything. But thank you for the question, Drew. I would love to have done it. It would have been great. Rudy Gonzalez. Rudy Gonzalez. Rudy Gonzalez. I love your name. Um, he says, what was my first instrument? My first instrument was a Gibson SG guitar. But it had 
like a scratch plate missing and all the pickups were missing if I can find the picture I'll put the picture of it up I was about 10 I think at the time and that was the first guitar and the plan was because my brother-in-law had got it cheap because it had all the bits missing um, was to slowly build it up to buy some pickups for it and buy the scratch plate because I couldn't really afford a proper guitar at the time but yeah it was this whole battered up Gibson SG guitar um, which we never did do up I eventually just bought um, a Westone Thunder 1A in the end because I just never we never got round to rebuilding this guitar yeah, so all the pickups were missing and everything but still a really lovely guitar the Gibson SG such a beautiful guitar is what Angus Young uses in ACDC but thank you for the question oh he also said when did I start making music uh, I wrote my first song when I was about 11 um, but the first sort of time I started recording music and proper writing was probably around about I must have been about 18 and I wrote a song called Alone in the Dark and um, that's like a proper proper song yeah it's about 18 when I properly started writing but thank you for the question again Aiden asks if I could meet just one member of Pink Floyd, who would it be? That's a really difficult question because I love Pink Floyd. They're my absolute favourite band. Um, but I don't know, they all seem so miserable and, you know, I, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know if I'd get on with them. They just don't seem very happy. Um, I mean, I suppose the one I'd probably get on more with, you could probably talk to more, would probably be Nick, Nick Mason, the drummer, but I mean, if I could actually have like a, say a proper interview where they'd be nice, you know, you wouldn't be coming up to them as a fan, and they're just all, oh, yeah, 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 thank you, thank you, goodbye, to like, as proper mates, you know, can have a in the pub with him. Uh, probably David Gilmore, I think, or Roger Waters. I say for Roger Waters or David Gilmore, it's such a difficult one. Roger, David, Roger, David. David, I think David Gilmore. And we talk about all the stuff, how they made their albums and all the sort of, he's arguing with with Roger Walker. But thank you for the question. Who would you like to meet? Let me know in the comments. It certainly wouldn't be both, would it? It wouldn't be Roger and David Gilmore. You know, no chance of that now. Marco says, Hey Jeff, what is your favourite song? Well, we was already talking about them. Pink Floyd's Comfortably Numb. Absolutely brilliant. I, I listened to The Wall for the first time and I'd only ever heard another Brick in the Wall part two from it before. So, all of a sudden, Comfortably Numb come on and I thought, oh, this song is amazing. I love everything about it. It's just so good. I love the sort of where you have the, the Roger Waters vocals, then it goes into the David Gilmore vocals. And then you've got David's fantastic solo in it. Absolutely brilliant. So comfortably numb by Pink Floyd. What's yours? Let me know in the comment. Hina, Hina, Hina asks, how did you and your fiance meet on Google Plus? Um on Google Plus basically we used to I posted something and she reacted to it and then we just got talking um, and then as time went on we left Google Plus because it closed down um, and then we started talking on uh, like mess is it messenger whatever it is you know and then we started talking on PlayStation yeah, and then it just 
was there for each other. And then just one day I thought, well, I'm going to tell her how I feel. She said I felt the same way. And that was it. She's absolutely fantastic and we're really, really happy together. But thank you for the question. Fury Thruster. Eminem, my mate. Uh, if I could listen to one album over and over and over again for the rest of the time in the world, what would it be? Oh dear. Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. It's got to be, I suppose, for me. Um, because I guess you can just put that on. No matter what sort of mood you're in. So yeah, that's what it is. What's about yours then? Let me know in the comment. I made and said, do I have any pets? I don't have them here. They're in London. Uh, I did have a Labrador. A dog, a big, lovely Labrador called Lucas. And he was the most lovely dog. But unfortunately passed away a couple of years ago. Um, but he was very old. Um, I've got a Yorkshire Terrier crossed with a Chihuahua. Called a York. No, what's it called? I can't remember what they're called now. Chalky. And called. Um, called Hillary. And then I've got a little tiny dog. Um, you probably see my older videos called Chloe. She's a little Chihuahua. Tiny little thing. Um, I've also got a cat called um, Death. Daffy. Daffy the cat. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my pets. But I don't see them. I haven't seen them in ages. I can't wait to go back to London and see them again. But thank you for the question. NSO asks if I could be in any movie, what would it be? I'd like to be in a Bond movie. I'd like to be a villain, one of the henchmen. And have a sort of special way of, you know, of, of doing nasty things. You know what I mean? You know, like Jaws had his metal teeth. And Inspector, you've got that big bloke that's got those sort of false nails, you know. Yeah. So I'd like to be a, one of, not the main villain. Actually, no, the main villain would be nice too. Or mind that either. Yeah, but a Bond movie. Got to be in a Bond movie, ain't ya? Right, guys. I'm going to call this part one. Because there's so many questions. And I don't want to make this too long. So I'll do part two. Another time. But thank you all so much for your questions. Thank you all for watching my videos, not skipping the ads, you know, doing everything you do to support, joining me Patreon, um, donating to my channel, I really appreciate it, 